Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler here, and today I'm going to be talking about some basic reactivity, event handlers, and calling functions in Svelte. Let's get started. So, in the previous video, um, I left off where we have two components, an internal component, uh, and a secondary component that's just getting imported. For this video, I'm just going to get rid of the secondary component, since we don't really need it, and I'm going to get rid of the styling as well as the secondary component uh, usage. And you can see we just have, hello, my name is Tyler. Now, let's say we wanted to make a counter application. And what I mean by that is we want to be able to click like increment, decrement, something like that, and have um, the number go up and down as we'd expect. So to do that, I'm going to create a value. I'm going to say let counts is equal to zero. And then um, I'm going to create this h1 and just display the counts. So I'm going to do count semicolon and then in here pass in counts. And as you'd expect, we get count is zero. C O U N T. There we go. Okay. <laughs> now let's say we want to have a button, say like this. We can do button. And then if we have a plus for like increment, we want to be able to click this and it would update the count. We want to be able to go click and it updates it. How would we do that? Well, just like in React or any other framework, we can do an on click handler. And to do that, we do on semicolon and then the event name. And as you can see, there's a lot. There's a board, blur, click, drag, all that kind of stuff. We are going to use click. And to do that, it takes in a function name. So there's two ways we can do this. We can have an arrow function syntax where we do the function in here. So in here, we would just do count plus plus and that would increment it. For example, now when I click, you can see we increment the count and it also updates the data on the display. And the reason it updates this is because this is a reactive statement. It doesn't look reactive, but it is reactive. When this value changes, since this statement is only dependent on this, it will update the value of counts. Now, there's one other way we can call this function because yes, I do like this better, but it could be a little confusing, and most of the time we don't have one-line functions. What we can do is say pass in a function in here, and we can do increments, just like so. And again, we have to create that, so I'm going to do const increments is equal to parentheses, and then I'm just going to do counts plus equals 1, or counts plus plus. There we go. And just like before, we have our same kind of thing, but we're calling the increment function there instead. As you can see, it still works. Now, let's say we want to add a decrement function. I'm basically just going to yoink this and call it decrements, decrement and counts minus minus, and then we'll have a reset function, which just sets it to zero, which does count is equal to zero. Perfect. Now, I'm going to create these three buttons, and down here, I'm going to do a minus, and then here, I'm just going to say reset. Here, we will call decrement. Here, we will call reset. All pretty self-explanatory. There we go. So, when we click increment, we'll increment it, decrement, all that kind of stuff. So, you can see plus, we can now click minus, and say we're at a value like 10, we can click reset, and we go to zero. So we have this all the way. Now let's say we only want to be able to click reset one time. So let's say we keep going and we have like one time that we get to call reset. How would we do that? Well, that's pretty simple. Um, typically, if you wanted to make sure you could only count something one time, we'd have to handle something like is um, or like clicked already. We'll call it and we'll set that equal to false. And then inside of reset, I would have to like say, you know, if clicked already is true, then we're just gonna return. And then else, then we will, you know, clicked already is equal to true. And then say, um, you know, counts is equal to zero. We have to do something like that, you know, where we, we can click it only once and now, we, we can't click it again. But there is an easier way with Svelte. 
Instead of doing all of this mess, uh, messy stuff, we can go back here and just say count is equal to zero. And right here in our on click declaration, we can add a pipe operator, which is basically just the straight line above the enter key and just do once. And what this will do is it'll remove the handler after the first time it runs. So we can click plus reset and then we can click minus plus whatever. And if we click reset, it doesn't do it again. So there's a few other um, events modifiers you can add. For example, there's once for forms and things like that. You can also do stuff like prevent defaults. So it's not a big thing, but it does call event.preventDefaults automatically. So it's one less line of code you would have to write. So that is that for events and event modifiers inside of Svelte. If you like this or found this video useful, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video where we go into depth with reactivity and the ways this can be used. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.